Alright, so I wanted to continue on the awareness and con consciousness strain of arguments. And I realized that for this to make any neurological sense, I have to break down information into what is information, at least recorded information. And recorded information is something which has a symbolic link, or you could call it symbolic, or some sort of structural link to something in reality. If something in reality cannot be converted into that link and back out of it, it has no meaning. Um, written word to someone who can't read isn't information, it's just scribbles on a piece of paper. So from that basis we can say that the brain must work with the senses. That is, the signals from the senses must be recorded in the brain in a structure which can be recalled. If it can be recalled in a useful or utilitarian way, or if it can be worked with, then it is information. So this by necessity means the brain is based around the senses. Um, the senses are based around reality, of course. And um, to put this into back into terms of consciousness and awareness is you are only aware of what you are how to put it what you are aware of that is parts of your brain which are not sending out signals to your neocortex frontal lobe stuff like that you are not aware of that's why there's a subconscious that's um, that's the source of post-traumatic stress disorder and anxiety disorder generally, even though anxiety disorder has a lot of causes, is uh, it's a function going on in your head that is changing your moods which you are not aware of. And you are aware of your moods all the time because, you know, there's they affect how you process things which ha things have priorities, priorities, um, and that influences how you act so you have a whole set of layers that you can be aware of you're aware of how you feel you're aware of how you act because how you feel and how you act are being recorded and cycled back through your consciousness and things of that degree so yeah yeah i th i wanted to just break that down neurologically the the brain is based around the senses uh, the neocortex, which is considered to be the consciousness part of your mind, is based around the brain. If your neocortex or your consciousness didn't work with your brain, you wouldn't have it. it you would probably die because it would cause the rest of your brain to screw up. So, that's it.